wah of rainbows. Anyhow, they fell in love and their love empowers the entire world. And this power that they hold is manifested in human beings with the power of milk and semen. The sounds gross, but I mean, yeah, that's where that comes from. And what's very interesting is they're very much still in love today. That is his wife, but you know, he got a side piece. Can y'all guess what the side piece is? Can y'all guess? Is there any Frida? Baby, I know he's in the freedom when I see him. But baby, I'm all about Don Tor. I believe it is a definite thing. I'm a dragon bird. mistress Lisa, like in I your said, generation. Is wife, she is Girl, with who that mom. is? That is because in the you did? Religion, they believe everything is created between man and a woman. Each part oh, okay, the way my phone positions like I was standing over the desk. They even have combined yes. shrines. I believe a lot of people have like combined their shrines together and, you know, depict them together most of the time. Now, Dumbala is literally one of the most respected, next to Papa Legba, -like, I believe. Papa Legba -like is also very, very respected is even higher than that. He is literally the most beloved bringing those who serve him lots of prosperity, well, good health, fertility, and he can also lead you to the direction of missing treasure, y'all. Let me call on him to find some gold. You feel me? He's like, nah, you gonna be like, got my gold. Yeah, so with Dumbala, you can't call on him for anything frivolous. He's not about to just come to you for absolutely no reason, and he's not gonna come to you if he doesn't think whatever you need is important. And if he does come and he realizes what you need is not important, yeah, just know okay, that. Okay, y'all, look, he told me, like, I got a funny story, right? When I was living in Virginia, shout out to my ancestor, Earl. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, I came home from school and I went, you know, checked on my grandma. And when I went to our house, because she had, she owned like three plots or whatever in uh, Virginia. Well, that's what they say. But listen. So when I came home, because I had to get ready for school, I mean, get ready for work. So, like, as soon as I got out of school, went checked on grandma, made sure she was straight. And I think Miss Tyson died because she was old as hell when she was with my grandma. And when they was like, Tyson, I was like, sis, Miss Tyson. They was like, no, Miss Tyson, that was with your grandma. You know, they over here scuffling. I was like, what? But I, uh, I remember when I came home and I was like, is that a snake? I said, oh, hell no. I'll call somebody to call somebody to come get the snake. And at that time, it was a garden snake. And this morning when I was in meditation, you know, because um, something, I'm really going through a lot of traumatic stuff, y'all. And I really can't speak on it because, you know, I don't like to lie on people or just assume what you're doing is what God already told me you was doing, you know. But today... I was like, God, whoever was protecting me last night through that situation, please let it reveal itself. And that's when Dumbala came to me. And then, then I thought about when I got, when I saw the snake, it was a garden snake. But this morning I was in meditation and mama was like, well, we can't make all the snakes venom. Cause I was like, so I died because a snake bit me. And she was like, yeah, I didn't know it was that strong. And I'll never forget, I was working at Dollar General and I was on my break and um, I had got a reading and the, uh, what the lady said, cause I don't want to get it wrong. Um, she was like, why are you not confident? Why are you not scared? You know, like, why are you scared or whatever? And I had this vision that my son had took some of my potions and died in a past life. But, but I told him like, even back then he didn't listen. I was like, look, these jars are not, you know, this is for this, this is for that. But however, he got into the jar or whatever, and that broke my heart in the past life, right? And I was so afraid to make my products because I, like, I don't want to hurt anybody. That's why I tried to be descriptive. So when I was selling my stuff in Mississippi, I let them know, hey, this is spiritual. This is what's connected to it. Go do your research. Do, do, do. Then I have people say, stop explaining. Stop doing I'm like, man, no, I'm doing what God told me to do. Like, you heard me? Um, but I was happy because I, I kind of got sad because I was like, God, I know what I'm going through. It's not just me. And there's women that lost their lives like this. There's women that, like, these narcissistic relationships y'all be in, I don't see how y'all do it. 
and but God showed me that I was in one but he removed that because of my anointing and I said about four days ago I said if they would have told me I had an anointing on me, I could have avoided a lot. If they would have told me that I was bipolar, schizophrenic, all this, I could have avoided a lot. You know, and I want to say I sh thank you, Allah. Um, I know, Daddy. But, no, I want to thank Dambala because I got in trouble the other day, y'all, because my ancestors and spirits were like, well, you don't be calling on us, and you got this spirit, you got that. I was like, but look, like, I mean, like, I be trying to work stuff out myself, but when I don't, when I can't figure it out, because I'm my own healer, y'all. I've been healing myself since I was little. I remember going to South Carolina for spring break, and we was at the skating ring. Next thing you know, my wrist broke, but I got an old, old school parents, you know, ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you, you know, and then I go, it's fractured. So... I done broke my wrist before. I had to live upstairs in an apartment with a broken foot. You know, I'm like, Daddy, something happened to my foot. You just hit it on something. I'm like, all right. Then I'm, I'm at the beach. Shit, I walk on a fractured foot for a whole week. And then I'm on the beach. Guys, and you need to get your check hooked up. Check out before you up here riding a goddamn bike on the beach and your fucking foot fractured. And I was like, okay, God. But it was fractured, you know. And when my baby nose bleed, but it only, like, if I call on Kalima, I suspect it to bleed. Now, if I don't call on Kalima and his nose bleed and he didn't pick a booger or something, I'm like, who's sending Kalima over here? Because I'm Kalima, right? But I don't be trying to mix pantheons because at the end of the day, the divine feminine is a divine feminine, the divine masculine is a divine masculine. Now, there's different stages. Now, I didn't know Obatala. The Obatala that I have is very intellectual, very calm, very sweet. Now, when he get his little palm oil, you tell him to go sit your ass down, you get a little goofy, you get like, like you're back, back at issue or whatever. But at this point, like, we have archons that's being labeled as Obatala and this Seneca's Obatala is about to be in a lot of trouble. Because at the end of the day, mama birthed all of this. Now, if I, if I if I will allow the New Orleans to come out of me and the New York mindset that I have, like I said, I was raised up north. So the shit y'all doing down here and think y'all gonna get away with it, you're not. Um, but I told y'all, I like to do this kind of person, but then when I go to God and God tell me my consequences, and I'm like, well, I ain't about to, I ain't about to deal with that, you heard me? Like, man, ain't fuck all that. I'll just wait till tomorrow for my little blessings, you heard me? 757 on the clock, shout out Preston Michael James. But I go to sleep with these two pictures now, right? Now, if I was scamming like your ass, I'd be out here on the street. <laughs> Can you please help me? Um, Jack in the Box, this is true though. Though Jack in the Box let me go unlawfully and just wrong because of the intellect of the managers they have running this stuff. But that's that. That's why I say, baby, I already got one collateral. But if I was to tap into my acting gifts and what I went, what I'm going through, I can sit up here and lie and say, I just lost my baby. Cause this is the same goddamn person. And he looked different. You know what I'm saying? So I can go up there and say, like, I lost my son. And I just need somewhere to stay because where I'm staying at is very hostile. It's very, it's, it's just so much on my mental state, you know. And I just, and guess what? I like to go out this bitch and look like white chicks. But I said, you know what? No stressing. I felt like I was in the church because I'm like, why am I stressing and the work is already done? Why? So I'm just be like a baby daddy with a narcissistic ass baby mama that didn't get her way. And I'm going to just cruise this on out because I'm still, where is the real Carly Russell, y'all? Like, all this shit I got going on, that was not the Carly Russell on the, let me tell you something. Y'all be playing with people too much. I don't care if a motherfucker can drink a monster and be in their element. You heard me? It's just the one with Santa Morte. Yeah. Hey, Mama Morte, I'm, I'm coming home. I had to go out right quick. I had to go to Voodoo Land. Yes, mama food. I'm not gonna be long. I I got your cigarettes, mama. Chill. You got a new bus? I yeah, cause me and Kylie Ma was out here. I right, ma, I be up there in a second. Give me one second. Oh, told you I be hearing voices. That's why I don't understand. I be to myself. You come with the bullshit. 
Now, like I said, y'all, gonna keep y'all, y'all, y'all done pissed off a lot of spirits. Friends, how many of us have them? Let's go. 